I get asked questions about Sublime Text across a variety of different locations, and I often use those questions as suggestions for topics for videos right here on the channel. This week's topic is no different. It comes from an email that I got recently where someone wanted to know, is it possible to make Terminus use a block cursor while the rest of Sublime Text uses a regular cursor? And the answer to that question is yes, it's very easy to customize your Terminus views to have any settings that you might like, and this week we're going to tell you exactly how to do it. Hello fellow Sublime Text fanatics, Odan Nerd here, and welcome to this week's video where we're going to be covering how you can apply custom settings to Terminus terminals to make them look and behave exactly the way that you want them to. Terminus, of course, is the preeminent package for adding a terminal directly inside of Sublime Text, and whether you're using it for a terminals down in panels at the bottom of the window, or in split tabs, or for interactive build systems, what we're covering here today in this video will still apply to you, so stay tuned. If you're unfamiliar with Terminus as a package, or with settings in Sublime Text, not to worry because we We've covered those topics previously in other videos on the channel. So if you look down below this video, past the buttons that you know what they're for, you will find the description of the video with links to those particular videos to get yourself up to speed. And before we go on, just a quick reminder, if you haven't seen last week's video, well, there's a link to that down in the description as well, but live streams are coming back to the channel real soon now. If you have any suggestions for topics you'd like to see us cover inside of a live stream, please let me know down in the comments section below. Now, the email that precipitated this week's video said that this user had been looking for a while to find a way to make a build system interactive in Sublime Text, and they found my video on that helpful in setting that up. Hey, you're welcome. Glad I could help. But also that they would like their Terminus terminals to have a block cursor instead of a regular cursor. But they were unable to figure out how to do that except by making the whole of Sublime Text have a block cursor and then trying to take remedial steps after the fact. Fortunately, though, this is very easy to do. There's actually, if you're unfamiliar with this, there's a setting called block caret, which you could set to true if you'd like the cursor to be a block cursor. If this user already knew that, they just wanted to know how to apply the particular setting. Now, as we covered in the video on settings, which again is linked down in the description, below. Settings can be set in a variety of different ways. They can be set globally, they can be overridden on a per project basis, they can be overridden on a per file type basis, and they can also be set on a tab by tab basis as well. And the only one of these that really makes a lot of sense is those tab by tab settings because terminus terminals don't really have a file type associated with them. They're a, a terminal. So how do we actually do something like this? It's actually very simple. To make the change, what we need to do is open the Terminus settings, and we can do that in a couple of different ways. You can go into the menu and choose the Preferences, Package Settings, Terminus Settings menu item, or as I'm doing here, you can just pull this directly from the command palette as well, depending on which way you like to do that. Either way, you end up with this split window, which is standard for settings windows. On the left is the default Terminus settings, and on the right are your user customizations. And the magic sauce that makes what we're trying to do here possible is this setting all the way at the bottom of the left-hand pane called View Settings. You can put any sort of settings in this that you like, and Terminus will apply them to any terminal when it creates it, whether that be a panel at the bottom of the window or in a tab. It doesn't really matter. All we have to do is we'll copy that over, paste it into our right-hand side, and add the setting that we want, which again, for this particular user's case, is the block caret setting, which we can set to true. And now, once we save that, we can close up these settings, and whenever we open a brand new terminal, that terminal will have a block caret in it, even though throughout the rest of Sublime, there is no block caret, and it's just the regular caret. It. And that's it. It's just that easy. Now, something to keep in mind here is that these settings will only be applied on newly created terminals. So if you already have a panel or tab open, you're going to need to close that and then reopen it. And in the case of a panel, that might require you to quit and restart Sublime in order for the setting to take effect, depending on the key bindings that you have set up. But you can apply any other settings in here that you might like. As the comment just pointed out, you might want to do something like a customized font face or a font size in here. Say if you're using a font that uses ligatures and you don't want those in the terminal, this is a very easy way to fix that. I hope you find this useful and helpful and it kicks your Terminus usage up because this is an amazing package. We'll be back next week with another Sublime Text tutorial. Until then, this is Odat Nerd asking you to please have a sublime day.